Hi guys, Mistral has released Codestrel, which is Code plus Mistral. Codestrel, this is the first ever code model from Mistral. Codestrel is an open weight generative AI model, which is explicitly designed for code generation tasks. It helps developers write and interact with code through our shared instruction and completion API endpoints. We are going to have a deep dive into the Codestrel model, try it on the Visual Studio Code editor and do a few installations of extensions that will help you to design and use it as your own co-pilot. So this model is fluent in 80 plus programming languages like Python, Java, C, C++, JavaScript, Bash. If you look at the benchmarks, we can see that when we compare this with other coding models, for example, Code Llama 70 billion or DeepSeeker, DeepSeek Coder 33 billion or Llama 37 70 billion we can see that we have a good score in the python in the python language we see 81% in the human eval in the mbpp we see 78.2% on the crux eval o we see that 51.3% on the repo bench we see 34% so except for the mbpp which is highest for the deep sea coder 33 billion we see a the Codestrel 22 billion is the winning LLM. For looking at the performance on the SQL benchmark, we see the score is, is in the second position. So the average of all the several languages, the average of all the languages, we can see that it stands top, therefore beating Code Llama 70 billion, DeepSea Coder 33 billion, and Llama 3 70 billion. So finally, for all the benchmarks, we can see that this is for Python, this is for JavaScript, this is for Java. The average is highest for the Codestrel 22 billion. So that is for the statistics, but let us try it for ourselves and see how effective it is to solve our own tasks. So for using that, we have many implementations. We can go to the hugging phase and download the models we agree an access repository here and download the model we can go to olama and download it on your local system for example olama run codestrel or we have these different tags uh, showing different quantization of the models you have 18 tags and you can go and download any one of these and start working on your local system and one more thing that you can do is we have a bunch of APIs which has been made available by Mistral. So if you go to console.mistral.ai slash codestrel or this link here, we can see that we can create an API key here and we have a few endpoints here. So two endpoints here for chatting with the model. Now I'm going to use this endpoints for testing out the model because then it won't have any restriction of the limited capabilities of my local system here. So let's try out the Codestrel in Visual Studio Code Editor using the API keys that we find here. So once you log in to Mistral AI uh, with this email here, I've already logged in. So where I have this API key here and I can reset this API key as well. So let me go to the folder where I've been working. So this is the folder here. So I'm going to open this. I'm going to say CMD. I'm going to say code space dot enter. This is going to open up at the location directly. And now what I'm going to need is a virtual environment. I'm already inside my virtual environment. But if you wanted to create a virtual environment, what you can do is click on the create dash n, then codes trail Python, Python 3.11 and dash y. So using this command, you can start up this environment. And once you have that environment, what you can do is you can say conda activate cadastral. So this will help you get inside this environment just to keep a separate environment for testing everything out. 
now for the first example what I'm gonna do is take you to this link here so I have this uh, doc dot mr. AI uh, slash capabilities slash code underscore generation or this link if you go to this link you can find different examples of using this codestrel so what you can do is uh, fill in the middle endpoint we have instruct endpoint we have open with codestrel and integrations so we are going to see for each of these examples so for the first example we want to see the fill in the middle so for example if i have this code where we import the request and take in the mistral api key we have this url as the endpoint and these are the headers and if you take a closer look at the data that we have the model as cholesterol latest the prompt here is that define the fibonacci and equal to int and then the suffix is added which is the last part of the code so this is the first part of the first line of the code and this is the last line of the code and we want the model to fill in everything which is required in between these two uh, codes so max token we're gonna put it 8000 and we are going to get in the response here now if we get the response we're going to print out the response now let's take a look at the response here first of all we need to set the environment variables so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear this i'm going to say set the mistral api key here as equal to i'm going to go to the api here copy this and paste it here so this is done so we are going to run the app one.py so python app one.py and let's see the output so we have the output here so what this output says is this part is the output we are not yet sure if it is correct or not so for that we need to print everything together so we are printing out the prompt the first line of the code we are printing out the response that we got from the uh, response here and we are printing the suffix as well which we have put here so if you have a look if you have a combined look at this i think this should be clear so let's run this again so we have this code here now what i can do is i can take this code and use it here so in the app 2 i'm gonna paste all the code here and just run this so let's see if we are able to if it runs so code to enter a number eight let's say eight fibonacci number is 13 I'm gonna run this again the 10th fibonacci number is 34 we can verify it here for example 5 and 10 so the 10th number is 34 here uh, we can say 11 number is 55 so that verifies that this is working the fibonacci number is working i say 55 number will be a huge number okay so this fill in the middle code is working we have just inputted the first and the last line of the code and it's it was able to uh, generate everything in between another thing that we can do here is that i want to introduce you to the extension here so this extension is actually of uh, from continue so if you go to continue here and look at this extension continue codestral so this is the extension from continue and using this extension we can do quite a lot of things code filling let me give you some example so i already have this installed and once you have this installed what i can do is that i can select the code here Control a and then i can say Control l to start up the continue here select this code and say Control l again so this is the entire code i want to slash i want to let's say comment write comments for the selected code so just press enter and we would be able to see that it is writing comments for the code now on the left hand side this is the original code on the right hand side uh, we can see that a few comments has been written for the code automatically now if we like this comment we can accept everything here or we can reject all let me accept it and then you can see that the comment has been written 
uh, there is a little bit of issue here yep this should work so let's run this again so app 2.py enter number four okay this works so we can see how we can put comments another thing that we can do is there are a lot of things actually so what i can do is uh, let's say summarize this code okay so i control a everything then control l and now i can say summarize this code okay so let's see the output this python code defines a function called fibonacci that calculates the nth number of the fibonacci sequence the fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers in which each number is the sum of the two preceding ones usually starting with zero and one so that is pretty cool another thing that we can do is let's say i want to edit this code and i want to edit uh, i want to change uh, the uh, function name to uh, let's say any other name like gasoline okay so press enter we would be able to see that it is rewriting it and you can see that Fibonacci has been replaced with gasoline here and in the usage of the function as well it is able to change this from Fibonacci to gasoline here so if I like this I can accept it if I don't I can reverse that as well so this is a little bit of issue but i'm sure this can be amended like this as well okay so let me run this again and see if it's working okay sure it's working other things that we can do we can just check it out uh, if i select let's say slash edit comment write comments for the selected code export the current chat session to markdown then cmd uh, generate a shell command we can commit for the git commands and you can write unit test for highlighting code so unit test is an important thing for writing good codes and before production you need to run through the unit test module now let us run for this module as well it's pretty easy i will say uh, test and just press enter so this is going to run the unit test here okay now what i can do is that i can insert this to the current file so this unit test has been added to this code itself now if we want to accept this we can accept this so i accept all the tests that has been done here inserted here and i'm going to run this again so i will say uh, python app 2.py and it ran the unit test here so there is some issue here ran 7 test and it was able to find some issues here so you can see we can find some issues which means there needs some improvement for this code but i will check it out later but let's move on uh, let's see the code let's see the chat or the code completion so here everything being the same in the data we can see that we have the model here and we have the normal message like the role is user and content is write a message for fibonacci this also works and i'm just gonna run this so app3.py and you can see that we have this instruction with instruction we have the code as well as well as the workings has been described in detail now for the another example i can uh, write you know define a code itself and ask it to write let's say i want to write a code known as summer which sums two numbers okay so i'm basically fed up of writing this and then what i can do is that control l and then i can say that uh, complete this code uh, this function should uh, add two numbers and return the result okay then uh, use the function as well okay let's see the output so we have this we can just apply to the current code here and we can accept all now let's run this I need to put uh, I need to put a print here and let's run this so what I can do is 
Python app.4 this is 8 now I want to run some unit test so what I can do is select everything control L and slash test here and press enter to writing unit test these unit tests uh, are applied to the current file now so this will be applied and I can accept everything here and I can run this again to see everything works fine so ran five tests in 0 0.001 seconds and it's okay so this is okay we have run the unit test as well so I forgot to mention one thing is that when you first set up we install this you would have to put in the API keys for this there after you install uh, the continue you can see that we have this setup where for the provider you need to select mistral api for the model we need to select cadastral and the api key we need to paste it from here so this api key we need to uh, copy there and this will get you started so how did you like it this is i think this is pretty amazing for code generation and code completion and this is i think the finest solution and the finest model till date uh, that can help you write codes this is actually the number one code llm that i've seen till date so having said that i think you like this video please subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video thank you and have a nice day